Uh, this is the Big J. Number one, dude, why don't you stop putting my name in all your videos and stuff like that? I was gracious enough to actually come up there and hash it out with you. If you're going to make your content, go ahead and make your content. But I want to say this. Evidently, this stuff is going over your heads. And I don't know what it is that you and the black women and the swirlers, whatever it is that you guys want to call yourselves, are trying to prove. By, where Because you don't think black men are worthy of other races because you want to think that black men alone the totem pole because when you talk about black men you're actually talking about yourself too and you're starting to sound like women women black women want to believe that everybody in the world wants them but nobody wants the black man because they want the black man to stay in their little box black women are comfortable in black men staying in a little box and as long as black men are staying in their little box black women are really comfortable when black men venture out or even say that they're going to venture out then all of a sudden hell breaks loose. Now, as a black man, as a black man, what do you care if black men uh, are used to service other women? Because that is the, the lower of black men. That's been the lower of black men for 200 years. You ask a white man, what is he afraid of? He's afraid of a black man's Johnson. Go listen to Donovan Sharp. Go listen to any white guys talk about black guys. Why do you think well, white women uh, don't want to admit that they've been with black guys? Because white guys think black men are better sexually and for the most part they are because we're actually socialized to be that way so i don't know what you guys keep going on and on about sysbm and that kind of stuff and basically you have freaking swirlers on your channel now you cool with the swirlers that come up on your channel the divestors as you call them they come up on your channel you're cool with them but the thing is you want to talk against sysbm and for the most part sysbm doesn't even care about you so you're just like the other women. For whatever reason, you guys are concentrating to keep black men corralled in this pen. Why? Because you know if black men get out, that's probably the end of the black community. Because the women have been sleeping with whoever they can get with forever. So I'm always fascinated at the focus control over what, what black men do, what black men say, and where black men put their penis. This penis policing, as they call it. Why are you dick policing black men? What do you care? What do you care? The numbers are the numbers, okay? If you just look at marriages alone, black men all have 700,000 more marriages than black women. Just the numbers alone. Black men do date out probably more than black women. Even by the divestors on admission. They're more successful at dating out. They're more successful at dating other groups of women. Those are just the numbers and they're increasing. So you saying that black men can't do something or black men won't do something or nobody will take them that's already a falsehood what you're afraid of is that the numbers will increase go ahead and admit that you're afraid because if it wasn't a concern and black men couldn't do it then you wouldn't be saying anything you just let's laugh and keep it moving but you're not because it's already apparent that it has like i said when i was in my 20s that's the one percent or maybe about one percent of black men married out two generations later it's it's damn near 20 percent Damn near 20%. That's just an increase. Even with racism, that's an increase. Now that you're gentrifying neighborhoods and forcing you to mix in school, guess what's going to happen? It's actually going to increase even faster. Most of the Z's that I talk to really don't date black women anymore. Or they are very open. They don't date black women exclusively. So it's not even a physical problem. It's also a generational problem because as these kids get older and come into the mating market, they're not going to pick the same mates that they did when I was uh, younger because I was in a box. That box doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what it takes for people like you, Big J, to get your brain wrapped around it. It's not rocket science. In fact, I put it as simply as I could. There's way more than enough women to actually absorb black men. And the, the government of the United States is actually enhancing and promoting the mixture of black men and other types of women. Because you keep focusing on white women. You know, you didn't focus on the Latinas. You have not even focused on the Latinas. You're just taking uh, Kevin's word for it. But the thing is, you haven't even done any research. And you're a content creator. You haven't focused on that they're importing at least 100,000, at the least 100,000, or probably even more, more like a couple hundred thousand of Latino into the country every year. That's how you come you have a national increase. So how come you have s over 60 million Latinos in this country? You have more Latin, Latina women by eight or nine million more Latina women 
in this country than you do black women. They're the second largest group to who? White women. And since they're immigrants, they're poor. So they're going to take the, po the poor or the uh, or the uh, lower middle class black men that are available. A man with a job is always going to be attracted to some kind of woman. And with black, l low black marriage rates, like black women, what, are 20, married uh, at a rate of 26 percent, given on how black demographics actually wants to skew the numbers because they do skew the numbers. If only a quarter of black women are actually married and about 6 percent more black men are married, it's not going to take that many white or Latinas, even if, if we talk about marriage, to actually skew those numbers. Basically, you're almost at 20 percent and you only have what? You have less than a million black men that are actually married outside of their group. What if you had another million? And that could easily happen within the next five years. That could easily happen in the next five years. We have a, another half a million or even a million of these kids marrying outside their race. What's going to happen then? Then that rate's going to be 50 percent. What's going to happen when the the the, the uh, marriage rate of black men, interracial marriage rate is 50 percent? What are people going to say then? Doesn't take that many. You guys think that you got to have like 100 million white women and 40 million and Latino women or 40 million others swoop down and go after black men. It doesn't take that many. Only takes about less than 10 percent, less than 10 percent move in a smaller population like black people. It's going to be a bigger move. If you look at the percentage, especially when you have low marriage rates for black women. And obviously black women don't marry, want to marry these black men. So what if you have 54 percent of black men that don't have kids and are not married? And that's half. That's half of your men. 54 percent of black men are not married and don't have kids versus 30, 33 percent that are. You almost have what? Almost double the amount of, uh, of available men without kids and without a marriage. What if just 25 percent of those guys found others because they're available? There's a pool of men just available. And when you have hard economic times, those available men will go somewhere. What happens when they do? What happens when you just take 25 percent, you got 17 million adult black men. Divide that by four. You talk about four, four point five million. So if you take half of the available men, which is about 25 percent, and they, for whatever reason, they get magically get married. Which could, which could easily be done. Then that will that will actually rival or exceed the number of, of black men that are actually married to black women. Easily. And we're not talking about rocket science numbers. We're not talking about a whole group. We're not talking about a humongous movement. We're talking about four million guys making a decision, encouraged by the government, making a switch. And you could turn black marriage on its head. You can turn the whole society on its head. And those are just the Latinos or the Latinas. Four million guys. There's 80. I just looked at it. I revised my, my numbers. There's 80 million white women in this country. 80 million. 5%. If just 5% of white women, no matter what they look like, took a black mate, you turn black marriage on its head. 4 million white women just took a black mate. 4 million Latinos took a black mate. Or 4 million, you have 167 million adult black female, uh, black females in this country. 167 million. If 2%, 2% of those females decide to break off, 2%, listen to me, 2% of those females decide to get a black mate. Just 2%. You turn black marriage on its head. It's not rocket science. I don't get what you understand. We talk about raw numbers. We ain't talking about who looks good to who because half of all people in this country are fives or average. 60% of, of females in this country are four fives and sixes. 20% of these females are below average. 20%. 20% of all females in this country are below average. Well, actually more than that. If you take the ugly ones, we just talk about the fours. The four, if you look at it, the fours are 20%. If you add the others in, you're talking about another 40%. You're talking about 40% of, of, of all females in this country are below average. So if, if just 40%, which is, I'll take half, what is it? What, 70 million women decide they're going to get a black mate? That's, that's double the population of all the black uh, people in this country. These are just numbers. And if the white community, the broader society keeps pushing interracial marriage, that's, that's what's going to happen. It's already happening because they push it in schools. And as the older black people die out that are married to black women, guess what? The numbers keep shifting. The number of black men married to black women won't actually go down. 
And you sit there for an hour raving about bullshit that doesn't matter. You're raving about SYSBM and what's talked to, uh, talked about on YouTube. And you have no connection to what the fuck goes on on the ground outside. And you have guys all over the country telling you the exact same thing. But you, and you're in Houston, for God's sake. You're in Houston, for God's sake. Right near the border. And you see it in front of your face. Don't believe me? Go to, a, go to the local elementary school and see who plays with who on the playground. The thing is, you do see it, but you want attention from females. You want to soothe black females ego and you're lying to yourself. And at the very end, even pure butterfly spirit saw what I was talking about. She the light went on in her head because she finally figured out what I was talking about, because you think that everybody that mates is going to mate with eight, nine or ten. That's what you're thinking about. You're looking at an I, a, a Latina or a white IG model and you think that's what everybody's shooting for. And that's if that's unattainable for black men. They're not going to choose you. They probably won't. But what about the fours? What about the threes? What about a black man getting the same status of a woman that he would get in the black community? Never thought about that. There's way more poor white men, white men and women in this country than there are poor, poor people in the black community. Hell, there's more poor white people in this country than there are black people. Damn near 200 million, damn near 200 million white people. And the bottom half or the bottom third are poor. There's way more poor white people in this country than there are black people, period. And once the country decides that they want to get absorbed, they're going to get absorbed. And if a white woman can't find a white man, a poor, a poor white man that she can get along with or work with or has a job, she's going to pick a black one or a Latino. She doesn't care. Same thing with the Latina. I'm in California. If you have a Latina that can't find a dude, guess what she's going to find? She's going to pick the next available dude. She don't care that he's black. And every black dude is not poor. If you even take the the average dude that's making the the, the median dude that's making twenty seven thousand dollars a year, that's a lot to a chick that's on welfare. It's a lot to a chick that's in this country that's working class. She can work with that, and they do. Trust and believe, I know. So that little Latina chick working at the taco stand is gonna take you because you got a job. And like I said, it doesn't take a lot. You take another half a million people, uh, women uh, on the other side to actually come over and uh, hook up with black men. You're going to then you're going to have a 40 percent interracial marriage rate and, and people's eyes are going to bug out. They're already bugging out. And that's what you don't want to admit it, because because you think that you can talk it down. And what goes online about what people talk about actually controls the real world. And it doesn't. Does it influence it? Yes. Does it control it? No. Now, the last time I was actually very generous and all there was ask you questions. I was very nice to you because I wanted to find out what the fuck your problem was. That's why I was nice to you. And what I really found out that you don't have a problem. You don't have a problem with me because what you think that, you know, you don't. And that's what that's what I got online, because you thought I was afraid to come over your channel and that you were going to clown me with your knowledge. Didn't work out that way, even according to the people that subscribed to you it didn't work out that way. Now, if you want to have a real talk about real structure and what's really going on about marriage and the structure of this of this planet, because that's what I deal with. I don't deal in this low level bullshit about who's attractive to who, because I already always know that shit will work out according to the environment that you're in. I don't deal in low level thinking. I could give a shit about divestors. Because all the divestors are going to do is do exactly what the, the broader society wants them to do anyway. They want you to mix. They want you to pick a mate that's outside your group. They want you to get assimilated. So all the divestors are doing is following the same plan. But the only problem is they're lousy at it. You have everything going for you to assimilate and marry outside your group and you can't. Why is that? They're promoting this shit and you still can't do it. So, but instead of getting better at your craft, which is what you should do, you cry to black men and you blame black men. Other men don't give a shit about you crying about your men. All they care about is what, what kind of woman you are to them. And that's what you should focus on. What kind of woman are you to the to your next mate? What do they want? Well, I look good to them. That doesn't matter. After, after a month, that doesn't matter. And after a month of them being with you, they're going to decide they don't want any more black women. Because if you're horrible to us, guess what you're going to carry over into the next group? You're going to be horrible to them, too. And that's what they know. And that's what they know. Big J has nothing. To, mating has very little to do with who looks good, because if that was the case, black men would get more more uh, women because black men were bred to be bigger, stronger, faster and better looking. They were. They were. 
Look at the NFL. Look at look at uh, uh, look at the uh, sports leagues. Why do you think they're all black? There's a reason for that because they're better physical specimens as a group. It's not rocket science. It's called history. Most Latinos, or, 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 the average Latino is about five foot four. The average black man's five ten. Just that alone. Who do you think the the average Latino woman's going to pick? The the guy that's five foot four. The guy that's five foot ten. Just that alone. The average Latino weighs 130 pounds. The average black man weighs 180. They're bigger people. They're big. They're bigger physical specimens. It's not rocket science. Thing is, if you, if you were about telling the truth and being accurate, that would be a different story. I, you know, Big Jay would have no problem with you if you actually told the truth and you're actually accurate. If you actually did some reading like you say you do, some studying like you say you do, and get your ass off of YouTube and get out in the streets and do some research, I'd have much more respect for you. You've been doing this, man, for 10 years. And you haven't gotten better. That depresses me. I thought when I went over there to your channel that we'd have a discussion that you would have grown. I like having a discussion. I don't like having a quasi debate about somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about. Somebody that's making it up as they go along. And when I ask you to prove something, you can't prove it. Anyway, before I get on a rant, let me cut this off. So this will be just out and I'll see you guys on the next one.